If you're watching this video, then hopefully it's because you're getting an error like this, or like this. If so, that's great. Stick around. I'm going to show you three ways to try and fix this issue. Uh, make sure you stick around for the whole video, because if the first fix doesn't work for you, the second or the third doesn't. And if the third doesn't, I've still got an answer for you. Firstly, I want to apologise. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so forgive any coughs and splutters you might hear. And secondly, let's make this clear. DLL host is not a virus. It is not, regardless of what all those websites and what YouTube videos you've been watching that have said it is. <coughs> it's not. It's an important part of the Windows subsystem that controls ac application access for DLL files. It's meant to be there and would be there on the, even the most cleanest of Windows installs. So, I'm going to start by assuming you have switched your PC off and on again. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I know, it's a joke in the IT community, but it's legit. If you first time you've got this error and you haven't tried resetting your computer, go do that first before you go any further. Still here? Okay, let's get a little bit more technical. Because the DLL host application is linked to many different applications, it can be a little bit tricky to uh, troubleshoot what's causing the specific issue you're having. So what I'm going to do is show you how to troubleshoot that issue and show you how you can identify the application that you're actually having problems with. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the start button down in the bottom left hand corner. We're going to type the word event and we're going to bring up the event viewer. Up on the left hand side you're going to expand next to Windows Logs and then you're going to click into application. Now you may have loads of error messages in here, warning, yellow warnings, red errors, don't panic, every computer does, mine looks pretty clean but that's just because it's a virtual machine that's literally just been installed, so it isn't going to have many errors, but all machines will have them, don't panic, you uh, just need to look for the errors you're, that are affecting you relating to the DLL host. To do this, we're going to filter out a bit of the nonsense. So over on the right hand side here, just click on click filter current log. Select the error option and where it says all event IDs, simply type the number 1000. This will bring up a list of application errors on your system. On mine, it won't bring up anything because as I say, it's a clean virtual machine. But it'll look a little something like this. Your list may be a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the errors that mention DLL host. Look at the date and time of the error. It will be around the time that you experience the problem. Um, and then start clicking through them. And what you're looking for is the line that says, that mentions faulting module path. This is the application or the component that is actually causing your problems. The file name or the path should give you a clue to the application causing the issue. For example, this one is clearly an Adobe issue, whereas this one is quite clearly a Skype related issue. Now all we're going to need to do is fix that application. And that's simple as uninstalling and reinstalling the application. <coughs> so first head to the application's website, set it downloading, Adobe Skype, go to their website, download the file that you need. While you're waiting for it to download, click like, subscribe, and all those good bits, leave a comment down below. Uh, or consider buying me a coffee so I can continue making videos like this. Um, while that's downloading as well, why don't we remove the old one? So I'm gonna click on the Windows logo down in the corner again. We're gonna type applications. Sorry, we're gonna type add or remove programs. Select it from the list, find the application that's causing you all the bother, and uninstall it. Let that uninstall, let your download finish from Adobe or whoever's application was causing you problems and reinstall it. Once you're done, give it a reboot, see if your problem's gone. If not, if the issue's still get there, you're still getting these DLL issues, the second fix we're going to try allows you to install a feature that uh, some older applications need that Windows doesn't install by default, but you can just switch on. It's very simple, very quick. All we're going to do is click on the Windows logo down in the bottom corner. We're going to type feature and we're going to select this option for turn Windows features on or off. Once that window loads for you, the one you're looking for is this .NET Framework 3.5. Click the little box next to it, click OK. When you're asked, choose let Windows update download the files for you and let that run through. 
It may take a little while, it all depends on the speed of your machine and your internet, but just let it run through. Once it gets to 100%, give your machine a reboot, hopefully that's come for you as well. I'm going to cancel out of that because I don't actually need it on my machine. I'm going to let that error out. If that still didn't solve it for you, the next thing we're going to want to do is check for any corrupt Windows files or Windows components and repair them. We can do that simply by clicking on the start menu, clicking, uh, sorry, typing command. You get this option for command prompt, but don't click it straight away. You're going to want to click run as administrator, or you can right click and choose run as administrator. Click yes. Once you're in this screen here in the command prompt, what we're going to want to type is sfc slash scan now. That's the system file checker and you're telling it scan now for any corrupt files, any files that are missing in the Windows install that may be affecting the DLL host. Uh, so once you've got that typed, simply press the enter key and as the message says there, this process will take some time. All depends again on the speed of your machine, but it's gonna run through, it's gonna check every file. If it finds something's corrupt, it's gonna replace it. Once it gets to 100%, you're simply gonna give yourself a restart and that should now have solved your issue. If you've tried one, two, and three, and none of those issues have solved your problem, then I do have one last option for you. You can either leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you, and we'll arrange a time to do a support session where I'll try and resolve the issue for you and turn it into another YouTube video for other people who are having the same issue as you, or you can head over to my Discord, you can find the links down below, where we'll do the same thing. We'll set up a video session, a support session, and I'll try and solve the problem for you. Um, thanks as always for watching. I do appreciate it. If you could help me feed the algorithm by liking, subscribing, and commenting down below, I'd be very much appreciated. And if you want to go as far as buy me a coffee, you can find a link down in the description for that as well. Last of all, make sure you have a great day. Thank you.